My experiences with a lot of people that have built enterprises, that built brands, has always been sort of more serendipitous. Things just come along and you need to be able to see them and then seize that moment. Thinking now about sort of my journey through marketing, my chance to build uh, Zenbangs was very much a serendipitous kind of moment. The same thing was with ING Direct. And I think that really shaped a lot of my personality, my drive. I didn't set out to actually be successful. Nobody ever said to me, son, you can be a success. There's a sort of curiosity about the world that fascinates me. And it helps me to redefine myself as a human being. And it opens up much more possibilities of what I can share with other people. I was privileged to serve with ING Direct. We basically said, look, we're going to do without branches. We're going to go digital. People saw the advertisement, they saw the commercials, and then they basically got in their cars and they came and looked at the address. Showed up in the first day, knock on the door, receptionist said, there's two people here, they want to talk to you. So I went out and saw them. He said, well, we just want to know whether you're real. I said, okay, well, the least I can do is, if you've come all this way, you know, please, um, you know, I'll give you a cup of coffee. Well, I thought that was kind of a one-off, except that wasn't a one-off. The next day, 10 showed up, and then 20 and 30. Before you know, we had people jammed outside the elevator, drinking coffee, trying to open up accounts. And that was the genesis of the cafes. See that serendipity, seize that moment, and take it. Doing something and seeing it actually create value to a consumer in your society that you can be proud of, that's a pretty big adrenaline rush. It's a hell of a lot better than saying, you know, I made a million bucks.